Hello everybody. I present the MUB. MUB has millions unit bovis. I measure in millions of bovis units these fields emitted. I measure with my pendulum because I get uh, dowsing since uh, 9 or 10 years. This uh, pendulum is my only field controller. I started in a few thousand bovis units to reach several millions. In the MUB finale, each coil increases its power of energy of emitted field from roof copper, curved copper, nano coated copper, coils full of guns and coils piled one on top of the other. These measured fields increase from hour to hour, day by day. The MUB is a generator of care, an elf generator. It is a cache type generator, totally inspired by the cache teaching and the shared research of several cache researchers. The idea of this generator does not come from me, it is simply worked in my own way. We all work in our own way to move forward in this research, following as closely as possible the road drawn by Mr. Keshe. Here we are in the video demo. The small blue diode because the outside coal is powered by solar panels. Huh? You see the small red wire just to see the positive uh, side for the diode to connect correctly in this diode. I wanted to have an electro electrical current in the outside coil to make a rotating file that should facilitate the creation of a vortex in the CO2 funnel. Then you see the connection. The top of, uh, of this uh, head is about 10 cm in diameter. The cone bass is about 13 and the height is about 20 cm. You see the pipe full of uh, foot guns. Okay. The cone in light uh, grey is a lampshade. Very easy. Solar panels are glued and I pierce the shade with a heated point perforation to let the wire pass. The wires pass. Here is a joke. The paint not dried. Ah, it's okay now. Lampshade is simply removed. It is made to be disassembled, demonstrated or repaired. I'll show you the connection. The upper level of the outer coil is connected at the positive to the solar panel, and the lower level of the external coil is connected to the diode itself, connected on the negative to the last solar panel. Here you see the pipe and the purge on the pipe to make the gas out, but to to fill the cans of uh, nourriture. Each coil is nano coated, and I think all the cables will be nano coated over the days. Here you see the funnel of CO2. This funnel is inside the three mini coils. And you see the yellow green full of guns, Hormuz guns, the red iron guns, and the blue copper guns. I can disassemble and reassemble very easily, like you see. I have small reapers here, reapers, small spot. Then I put back the holder coil full of guns, of foot guns, and I put back the wires around it, and I put back the head, the hood. 
of this small small machine smart devices it uh, increases the failed estimated increases day by day hour by hour and on um, January today the 5th 2070 at 4 p.m. the emitted field gives a radius of 15 meters around the moon. You see my address to go on my website. It is a five page of my chapter on uh, generator cache. And now the solar panel itself. 5 volt 160 milliampere I get it 3 euros each not so expensive you see the interior of connection and the outside of the mub and the diode Small some, some pictures of disassembly and reassembly just for the fun to show you few few week few few weeks few few months to build this with love with intention of peace and to to do good to do well to other people and to me so the move was finished completed on uh, on my desk uh, on december 29 2016 and you see the cat the cat like uh, we do is not buffered by the humiliated fields. You see the blue diode on the mirror and on the top of the mub. You see the cat gribouille. gribouille. Thank you to share with me and I, sh I wish you share this with uh, your friends around our beautiful planet. See you. Thank you.